Hello again, everyone. Um, yeah, it's been quite a few weeks since I played Resident Evil, so apologies for the break between uh, these little clips or these videos. Um, yeah, I've, I've just been doing other things and I just got completely sidelined from this. So uh, we got Chris here. Uh, I honestly can't remember what we were doing though, so um, we're going to have to muck about and hope we find out. <laughs> Strong start. Strong start. Um, all right, let's go this way. I vaguely remember we'd just been outside before. Like, um, we, we'd been somewhere and there was a, a, a an area we couldn't go through. So that's why we've looped back. Oh, there's something here. What is it? You can't carry any more items, great. <laughs> um, yeah, and again. Fantastic. Hang on, saying that, can't I? Oh, I can't even combine it. <laughs> oh, okay. We're going to have to do some jiggery pokery, aren't we? Okay, back where we started. So, let's go in the box. I'm going to drop off the Encrebms for now. They're holding me back. And because I don't know what it is, I'm going to just leave this wooden mount here as well. It could be important to stand the line, but I've got no way of knowing that. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Alright, take two. <laughs> uh, will you take the dog whistle? Okay, that could be helpful, I assume, with the dogs. <laughs> A crumpled memo. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling. Which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that Sir Suspenser wants hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this. Of course you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you're always wanted to get hold of? Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out for, well for the both of us. John Tolman. Alright, well, I think that's basically just where I've been. And I think I killed that uh, four-legged creature. <laughs> I'm wary of saying that because mine's behind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll take that. <laughs> I'll tell you what, she's made me a right softy. Uh, I can't even I can't even say I like killing anything like that in games. I played The Last of Us Part 2 and that was torture. <laughs> oh. I watched other, other players uh, online in Let's Plays and they were sort of trying not to do it as well and I'm like, it's, it's difficult, isn't it? <laughs> um, am I right in thinking that this door here is one that you break the handle if you go through? Okay, so we're going to have to go the long way around again. It could be just a hoax, that. But I'd rather not take the chance. It really does feel like in that sentence started off so well. It feels like we're going to have one big mass door opening at some point. I've gone this way because I remember there's some shotgun ammo out here. There we go. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, that was a waste of my time. Okay, so we don't go through there. Yeah, so something tells me... Hmm... If I go... Dog whistle and use? <laughs> okay, um... That's awkward, I can't even see the dog, so... Yeah, 
I think I made a mistake last time. Question is, do I roll back so I can do it again? It's like if I look here. Dang, we got the mouse, haven't we? We've been in there. It's a dead end. I mean, obviously, it's got a red door. Then that one, I'm assuming it leads to something in this area for there to be two doors, but obviously we haven't got access, so it's moot. We can go through there, but it's not really anything. Same there. So the big issue overall is I can't see what we're meant to be doing because if we go through here, I mean, obviously, that's where the typewriter is. Um, or even if we go down the floor and there's the typewriter. Um, it's just not a lot going on, it seems. But it says in progress, though. So maybe I haven't been through here enough. So I know that those stairs there lead down because that's where the typewriter box is. And again, we've got a red door there. So maybe, maybe I need to try through there. But saying that, it still says in progress there. And if I'm right, yeah, that leads to the dead end. It'd be safe to say, hang on, hang on. I wonder why that's still in progress. Unless it thinks I've, I've missed something. And that, we've been there. Yeah, I'm really bamboozled because nothing new seems to have appeared. I mean, it says Mansion B1. If I'm right, this is just... I'm actually trying to think. I think that is from there, isn't it? Yeah. You go down the steps here and we've been here before. Might be worth going there again just to check because I'm running out of ideas what to do. Yeah, so nothing's changed down here. I'd forgotten that we had a power issue, which uh, I'm assuming we can't just rectify. So, yeah, I'm a little bit stumped. A few moments later. All right, so I've come to the conclusion that I need to go back a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, just going around in circles then, I'm thinking I did something wrong. Most likely that dog. So... First of all, let's move the mouse. Um, so we have got magazine ammo. What I figure we'd do... Uh, let's just put... Actually, yeah, go on, let's just put things in here for a minute. Okay, I don't think we need the emblem. We don't need the herbs. We'll keep the knife, keep the gun. Keep the mansion key. Um, we're going around in circles with this, so I think we keep hold of that. All right, I think for now we leave it at that. We will take that. Okay. I'm feeling a bit better now. Now, I heard something, because I've just had to do a little bit of Googling just to get a vague idea of what direction to add. Ooh, shh. I thought this thing was dead. <laughs> um, okay, well, we'll equip this for now. Yeah, if you want to see a guy looking uh, shook up, that was uh, the way to do it. Ooh, Uh, combine. Is it dead dead or is it just... I think it's dead dead. Okay. It isn't dead dead, is it? Yeah, it's still here. Great. <laughs> Eight rounds that's taken. I don't even think it's actually properly dead. Oh, okay. I don't think it appreciated that. 
mean, I can't say I had like fuel being put on me. Yeah, I think let's just burn the thing. Man, oh man. So I'm assuming there's one down there. I can't remember. One thing that I've just found out. <laughs> if I go to this key and examine, there is actually a sword on it. So that explains what it is, essentially. It is the sword key, in that we've seen a lot of things say, oh, an emblem of this, an emblem of that. So that was emblem of a sword, which I didn't know up to this point. So there's going to be other books or other keys with those emblems. So all reasonably useful information. Uh, okay, I'll tell you what. We're going to go out this way a minute. We need the dog whistle, that's just a matter of fact. Right, this could be it. There we go. Lines carved into the relief glow red in the intense heat. Yeah, I don't take that yet. Um, but I now have a rough idea of what we're doing. Essentially, I need that wood. The limited inventory space is a real challenge. Okay, so we'll take the wooden mount. I don't like looking up hints for games, but this is just one of those where I thought, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> and that's not very good. You know, if I'm not able to show well, let's say, if I'm able to show anything, then this isn't really a game to play, is it? You know, it's like I'm just sort of running around in circles in areas I do know. There we go. There's a map of the Mansion 2F. Take it, definitely. So... I suppose the question is, is there anything new here? Not that I can see, I mean, this still remains locked. I mean, we go through that, I'm pretty sure it would be open. So yeah, while that helps a little bit, it doesn't help in quite a lot of ways. I've just realised I didn't check that. I don't know if that's a door that could be open now. I could do a check in that. Besides all this though, there is the dog whistle, so I could do a check in that out. I've got a few things to go on. Yeah, so we'll take the dog whistle. I'm going to say I've read all that, so I'm just uh, skipping it. It does make me chuckle, though, how it says, it's a one-way door, and I think, Chris, why don't you leave it ajar? <laughs> Not the brainiest. All right, so we're back to this point. I am just going to nip this way a second. I might not have a whole, an old key on me. But maybe I've got one in a box. Okay, so I haven't got one in the box. That's frustrating. Okay, I think it'd be safe to say that this has been a messy recording session for me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're back on the save I actually restart, uh, started this uh, video on, because just walking around, I honestly didn't think that that was on the right path. And yeah, I figure let's just go back to where we were. I've got the shotgun. Um, I'm going to do that if I can. I've got inventory space. No, but we could use that now. So yeah, we'll we'll go this way. We can get the dog whistle. Yeah, we, we, we can do it with what we've got. We don't need to go back to the safe room. So, we have got to get the map again. And then if we go there, use... Alright, so I think from here we're okay. We don't want to pick them up because we haven't got inventory space. But... 
If I'm right, I need an old key. There we go. Yeah, this entire section's thrown me off just as far as... I, I don't mind a bit of back and forth as far as um, you got to go here to go to here kind of thing, but I've, I said it in a couple of sessions ago, I think it was, um, probably the first video. <laughs> it's an old style game which gives you very few clues on its own. So I feel like it's doing something that I'm not used to, which is kind of forcing me to look for answers elsewhere, you know, and it's a little bit frustrating that, I'm not going to lie. I, I'll, I'd rather the game tell me it, uh, itself rather than making me wander around like an idiot. Um, can I just equip that gun I'm in? Plus side is, we found some ammo elsewhere as well, so we are actually okay for pistol ammo, it's just we haven't got a pistol. <laughs> we can't actually equip the ammo. It's where I wish you could drop things and pick them up, you know, like just to be able to do something like that. You know, just reload your gun essentially. Alright, so how I'm understanding it, we go this way. Which I kind of was doing, to be fair. But we do have to go through this door. There we go. Okay, treating my wounds apparently. I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's use it. I couldn't aim the gun. I say I couldn't aim it. I could fire it, but I wasn't convinced I'd hit the target, so I was trying to lock on, if you like, and the dog bloody got ground on me. <laughs> More moments later. Alright, so I'm feeling a bit better now. We've got some shotgun ammo. We've uh, got the door unlocked, so... We know we can go outside onto the balcony. There's one more thing I'm going to do, and then I think we're ready to give it a go again. All right, so nice and simple. <laughs> we're going to make a save. Because honestly, if I die, at least I come back here. All right, round two. Let's go straight over here, and let's get whistling. And you know what, let's equip that as well. I can hear one more. Alright, cool. Great. Um, if I'm right, I've got enough ammo in there now to combine with the shotgun. There we go. Will you take the collar? And then if we examine it. There's a switch where you press it. Yes. Okay, a coin was hidden inside the collar. Um, <laughs> it changed into the shape of a key. Imitation of a key. Shaped like a key, but lacks the rigidity to be used as one. Hmm. Okay. It's something, though. Is there anything this way, just while we're... In this neck of the woods. Oh, 
quite a bit of wiggle room or walking room. Uh, yeah, discard the dog whistle. So I wonder where this takes us. Ah, okay. <laughs> Nowhere exciting, just uh, up here again. I suppose that's something. Um, question is, did that does that actually function as a key? I'm just looking to see if any doors look open that weren't. From what I can see, the there's nothing new. Although, maybe we can go there now. I'm willing to give that a crack. So, we could die a horrible death here. I'm just putting that out there. Oh. Uh. Burn. Apparently it's not necessary now. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm out the door anyway. <laughs> man, oh man. A shotgun shell didn't get rid of it. <laughs> but yeah. May I always take this emblem and find peace and death. I'd say they look pretty simple. Or similar. Let me check, can I go... No, I can't combine. I'd say they look very similar though. Maybe a little bit different at the bottom. Oh god, this is awkward. Oh dear. Like I said before, we could have a really bad death here. Hey! Finally, big brain kicks in. Okay, so what what is that? This key actually um, good at? Ah, it's the armor. Okay, what was this one? That's a helmet, okay. But well, we've got the map, so where can we loot now? Not that many places, it seems. Saying that, I suppose the it's a case of check the doors first. Don't just assume. Yeah, we're gonna have to shoot this zombie as well. All right, maybe not. <laughs> so down this hallway, there were a few doors. I don't know if any of them were armor, but it makes sense to try them. Lock from the other side. Oh, oh. Oh. Then, oh, oh. Defeat a crimson head. What the hell is a crimson head? <laughs> Use the armor key. There's something written in the corner of the picture. Commemorating the completion of the mansion. Okay. Ink ribbon. Uh, leave it for now. An expensive looking grand piano. <laughs> just screamed push me. <laughs> Will you take the musical score? Yes. Doesn't seem like there's much else here. Just checking there's nothing here. No. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that felt a bit underwhelming.
So I'm guessing that some of these zombies revive. Because they've been spooking me up a bit this part. <laughs> Is this one armor? Emblem of helmet. Okay. What about down here? I haven't been down here for some time. Ah, I remember. Yeah, I'd rather not find out anytime soon. <laughs> so I'm assuming we go upstairs. Okay, something shiny. Oh, ammo. Alright, well it's good to know it's there. Will you take the dagger? Uh, yes. A plant that's been damaged by exposure to the elements, okay. Oh dear. It's Forrest from the Bravo team. There are deep wounds all over his body. What could have torn him up like this? Are we about to find out? Wasn't cool. It says it's not necessary. I'm I'm begging to disagree a little bit there. Yeah, I've got no idea what I'm doing now though. Oh, that that was that dude. Okay. Okay, so we came back, fair enough, we now know. But yeah, that feels a bit like I don't know what to do now. Because that's the balcony we came through. Maybe we can go through there, that red that set of red doors on the left. This is the thing, right? There's just a load of searching at this point, trying to find the right way forward. Although I must admit, I'm at the point where I do need to try and find a stop point. It's locked from the other side, great. Alright, zombie. I know you're there. Oh, wow, okay, that thing does move quick. Alright, them things really move quick. It's not necessary. <laughs> I beg to differ. <laughs> you know, if you can burn them, let me burn them. Emblem of Helmet. Oh, crap. Ah. Alright, I'm just running. I'm not even sure that was the right call, but I figure at least I can drop a save in here.
red herb. Um, honestly, we've got a load of things here, and I've got no idea what's good and what isn't. Red won't heal me, will it? Yeah. Well, I will go out of here, but... I'm not sure this is a good idea. <laughs> All right, well, we use the armor key. Yeah, I'll take a grenade. All right, quite a little bit here. I think it's just a way back, I think. Oh dear. Keeper's Diary, play poker tonight with Scott Knight, Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it. Tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5am, Scott woke me up, scared the sugar out of me too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bar stewards and research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. I've only just realised the dates at the top. <laughs> Oops. Uh, my skin's getting grimy and feeling feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary, well, this day after. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Day after. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realised some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anyone finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Two days later? Yeah, two days later. Rumours going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My, enti my entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Day after. Is it day after or two days? Three days. Fever gone but itchy. Today, hungry and eat doggy food. Two days later. Itchy, itchy. Scott came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy, tasty. Oof. Why am I doing this? I'm dead here. Ooh. I love how this game tells you it's not necessary. I'm dead here. I'm dead. I should have saved. I should have saved, but I honestly wasn't sure if I was just going to die when I walked out the room, uh, the safe room, so I didn't want to uh, trap myself. But yeah, I'm not in a great state right at that point. <laughs> All right, and normally I like letting Chris do the outro, but I think it's going to have to be here, unfortunately. Um, so it's been a bit of a weird one, this, I'll be honest. I feel like I've made progress again, but equally, it feels a little bit odd. <laughs> I feel like I spent a lot of the episode just running around trying to work out what I'm doing and granted out to get some tips from online. Um, but yeah, even then it's like, is this it? Am I doing it right? So um, yeah, a lot of uh, fumbling in the dark, unfortunately, which uh, yeah, it's at least sex tape, I guess. So yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens next time because honestly, we've got to do all that again, that last bit. Um, I don't, I think we've saved since I got the since I got the key. No, I don't think I've saved since then, so we've got a lot to do at the start of the next one to catch back up. But 
The plus side is, it's all achievable. That's how I'm going to look at it anyway. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed this, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video as well, just for the fact that you never know, someone out there might be interested in a Resident Evil playthrough as well, so try and get the word out there. And yeah, until next time, folks, this has been Josh from JJ's Productions. Catch you next time. You know, I'm not used to saying JJ's Productions. It is actually JJ's Let's Plays.